So mentorship to me is, you know, at its core is about love. Like you loving what you do enough to be able to pass that knowledge on to the next person. For them to say, Brother Mike is my mentor. You know, it's almost, you know, code for a few different things. Father, best friend, uh, you know, somebody that's going to push you to your limits. I mean, first and foremost, I'm a poet. That's at the center of everything I do. Everything kind of, you know, blooms forth from that. I did poetry probably about my sophomore year I started uh, in, in high school and really found a passion and that that really came from a teacher uh, and I and I would venture to say more mentor than teacher I was writing a poem and you know he kind of walks by and he's like hmm that's good you should write for the paper I was the only one of you know in my crew or my circle of friends who did that so it wasn't the coolest thing to do. It was like, you do poetry. <laughs> and all of a sudden, this teacher is validating it for me and saying, here's an outlet for you. And that, that stuck with me. He probably doesn't even remember or know that just that little millisecond of, that's good work. You should continue that. Led me to this path to where I am now. I came out to the city, started, you know, trying to find this community of artists and poets, and, you know, found a guy named Reggie Gibson who became kind of my second mentor in this piece and yeah he uh, I remember him saying when we first sat down and met he said what who do you read and I was like me <laughs> that I don't I don't know any other you know poets beyond like the Shakespeare or Keats um, he was like I'm gonna work with you. So every week before his open mic, you know, I would sit down with him and he would, uh, you know, give me book list of books to read, and you know, and I would watch his sets and watch what he would do, and you know, I started to really find my own voice after a while. Mentorship really became important to me, like these guys, and you know really showing me what could be done. Um, and I bought hook, line, and sinker. <laughs> and, you know, I practiced, I wrote, uh, you know, and it was really all self-paced. And, you know, things that, you know, later in my career, you know, right now I'm teaching my students how to do themselves. Uh, you know, those Anytime a spoken word student comes to me, I'm like, what do you read? And it's the same, you know, the same interaction that Reggie Gibson had with me, uh, I try to give that to the students. And sometimes it's unconscious, un unconscious. Uh, and I'm like, you know, I'm taking those pieces of those mentors that, you know, guided me throughout my life uh, even if it's, you know, back to that high school teacher, you know, I might look at a kid's work as they come off stage. Good job. Just tap them on the shoulder. And you see this, you know, they kind of raise their shoulders up and they're like, you, you can see that, you know, what you said meant something to them and they're going to push their work even further.
think particularly about this kid named uh, George and George was my first, he was in my first spoken word class I did at Digital Youth Network uh, when we were just an after school program. This is probably about six years ago. And George, his, his voice uh, would always crack. He was kind of going through the vocal change at that time, uh, puberty. And, uh, and his lyrics were, mm, they were bad, <laughs> you know, but he stuck with it. You know, you, he was one of these guys that he didn't care what anybody else said. He knew he wanted to be a poet and a rapper. And six years later, I'm awestruck by this kid. Technique, flow, confidence. And I can kind of see him looking over at me as he was rapping, just kind of shaking his head like, I know. <laughs> and what he knows is that he's good, that he's, a, he's where he wants to be. I tell him all the time, like, to see your trajectory, to see your growth, uh, is just so fulfilling and is so powerful to me uh, because it, it opens up what is human potential, like, that you can start from this place where you don't know, you're struggling, you have a passion for something. Uh, and if you put in that work, you put in that effort, and you have somebody supporting you, there's no telling where you can go. And I think those type of stories are, are the ones that, you know, I believe can be replicated over and over. This relationship between mentor and mentee, I'm also learning from them. They teach me all the time. They teach me how to be better in the world. Um, and I try to teach them how to be better in the world. She came to me strolling down the runway of my reason easing my thoughts as she modeled with marvelous maneuvers down the mantling of my mind, spreading sweet melanin across the membranes of my eyes, making me mellow whenever I think, whenever I blink in the name of words. Poetry be the mocha mama dripping meticulous mysteries whenever she passes the moon. She be the midwife of evening giving birth to night in the nook below God's navel. And I, I become unable to conquer comprehension. She is misillumination standing on the lines of ascension.